Sink rate measures the speed of descent, or vertical airspeed. In any airplane, drag is always working to slow down the plane. If a plane slows down, the wing creates less lift, and the plane starts to lose altitude. In a powered aircraft, we find the correct balance by adding power. The added thrust provides the speed to keep the plane flying level, or even climb. In a glider, we have to trade height for speed. Gravity pulls the plane downward, creating more speed. A well-made glider trades height for speed slowly. It gives up small amounts of height to fight the slowing effects of drag. Even the best gliders are always trading height for speed. When we balance lift, gravity, and drag correctly, we get a nice, smooth glide. Eventually, all the altitude is used up, and the ground arrives ending the flight. The rate at which you give up height or altitude is your sink rate. It's simply a measure of how fast you're sinking. The sink rate is how slowly the airplane is moving toward the ground. What if a glider flies over air that's moving upward? The flat part of the wing gets pushed upward by the air. With enough upward push, the plane stops losing altitude. The updraft has made up for the sink rate. That's how hang gliders and buzzards stay in the air for hours. They find air moving upward and fly right there in that upward moving air. To fly a follow foil like a tumbling wing, the speed of the updraft we make with the board must equal the sink rate of the aircraft so that it can keep flying level above the board. Our following speed must allow us to keep up with the airplane and create enough airflow to match the sink rate. <laughs>